So with a name like Extreme Automotive Addiction, it would logically follow that this channel is all about automotive, which it is. 99% of the time, that is exactly what I do, and that's what I enjoy. That's my passion. But every now and then, I feel like branching off to the left or to the right, and I feel like doing something a little bit different, and that's what I'm doing today. I want to talk about COVID-19, and I want to start out by saying that I am not a medical doctor. I have no formal medical training. This is just my opinion. This is just my, my thoughts. Um, you can have a different opinion. I am happy to hear it. Uh, please leave me your comments down below. I would love to hear what you think, um, but please be respectful. And remember, on this channel, we can agree to disagree. If you can't subscribe to that philosophy, then please click off this video right now. So with that being said, um, I want to start out first by saying that anybody who has lost anyone to COVID-19 or who has had COVID-19, you have my condolences in, in all sincerity. Um, I, like a lot of people, feel like I had it back in January. I was very sick. I had a lot of the symptoms. It sucked. It was no fun at all, but I got through it. What I am questioning right now is the statistics and the numbers that they throw out at us. Um, for example, I was watching the news the other night and they mentioned this county here in the United States and the county had lost 300 people in a month's time to COVID. And I thought to myself, that's a lot of people. So then I looked up the population of that county and I did the math and that turns out to be like two tenths of 1% of the county population. Now, I mean, death is not good anyway. We, we don't want anybody to die that doesn't have to die. I mean, I agree with that 100%. But for the people that supposedly have died from this virus, um, I just question a lot of it. I question, was it really the virus? Um, if it was, uh, would these people say have died if they would have gotten pneumonia or even the flu or a common cold? Because all of this stuff can be deadly to people who have health conditions. Certainly people who have respiratory issues, uh, heart conditions, weakened immune systems. Yeah, you don't want to get this. You don't want to get any virus for that matter, but you definitely don't want to get this. I completely agree with that. Uh, but for the other 98% of the population, we stand a better than 99% chance of being able to fight this off ourselves. So in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, uh, I don't think we're doing our immune systems any favors by masking up, gloving up, uh, avoiding everybody, closing businesses down, running the other way. It's kind of like the, the parents that wouldn't let their kid go out and play, get dirty, be a kid, play with other kids because they were afraid the kid was going to get sick. And then 20 years later, the kid ends up having all these health issues because they have no immune system. Kind of the same principle. Um, I realize that they have these vaccines that are coming out right now and they're talking they're anywhere from 90 to 95% effective. And that's great. That sounds really good. There's also going to be some side effects, and some of the side effects that have been explained to me are very similar to the virus. So my question is for the people who are at risk and who do have health issues, is this going to be detrimental to their health? Could it be, be potentially fatal? Um, and also, what are the risks, say, 5, 10, 20 years from now? I don't know. Nobody knows. Um, we're just we're swinging in the air here. I mean, we're, we're, we're kind of running around blind and doing the best we can with it. You know, hindsight's 2020. I really feel like that if back in March, if we would have just came out and said, hey, look, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. We're going to continue to provide you with the information as we get it. But use your own judgment. You know, if you feel like you need to stay at home, if you feel like you need to mask up, glove up, close your business down, whatever, you do it. You do what you feel is best. And we should be able to be trusted and be smart enough and have enough common sense to do what we feel is best. Um, but that didn't happen. And I mean, like I said, hindsight's 2020. It is what it is. And we're here now. But I really feel like if we had done that back in March, this really wouldn't be that big of a deal. We would allow our immune systems to deal with this. And um, it basically would just, it would be something. It would be here, but it would be a thing of the past. You know, the bottom line is COVID is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And not everybody is going to take this vaccine. So it's not going anywhere. We might as well just deal with it you know, and get on with life and live life. That's my opinion. That's my two cents. Uh, again, happy to listen to your comments. Please leave them below. Um, as always, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. But I just felt like this is a video I had to make. I've been thinking about it for over a month now, and I just feel like I had to make it. So as always, guys, God bless. Take care. Be safe out there and have a great day.